moms, good day wherever you are. Hope you all are doing well. And um, today I'm going to be doing something extremely different. I saw this very beautiful video and I want to watch it with you ladies. It's very funny but I have something to say after it so please stick with me till the end as you're going to learn something one thing or the other. So I found this video on a page called MC Grandpapa so a shout out to him for making this beautiful um, comedy skit. I'm sure it's comedy. Yeah so let's go on to the video. You're going to see it up here okay. So let's oh, watch it together. I stand by. Ah, baby. Baby! 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 Yeah? I'm hungry. You're hungry? I want food. Okay, let me give you rice, please. You no, let me... I don't want rice. You don't want rice? Yeah. Okay, there is salmon. No, 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 no salmon. I want rice. Uh, <laughs> but let me give you the one in the kitchen. No, babe. I want rice from my neighbor's house. She's the same thing, ma'am. No, babe. Still, the aroma of their stew is so nice. Please help me and get rice from them. Get to! Thank you, babe. I love you. You tell me say you like me, tell you my own. Baby, thank you, man. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, baby, please come. Please. Say what? Thank you, babe. Thank you, baby. So oh my I god! Need, Where do you want to go? I need, I need the steam from iron. I need to pursue the steam from iron. Please, just bring one of my clothes and come and iron. Really? Please, beside me, please. please. What I tried to say? Thank you, baby. Thank you. 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 Okay, let me get you a peek. No, babe, can you just lie down and smile? Okay. Lie down and smile, please. I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile. I hear me, me, by me. I'm going to smile, I'm the man really is really very, very tolerant. Very, very tolerant. I love it. Baby. What again? You should love her. I want juice. Juice on the floor! Okay. What juice? Is it fruit, uh, pineapple juice? <laughs> Watermelon? No! I want okra juice. That's like the juice. Okra juice? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Is it not the pregnancy that is causing all this? Okay, give me the balance of that. Really? Okay, that's the end of the video. It might seem so funny and it is a comedy skit, but women do this, right? Um, while you're watching this video, I want you to go down in the comment section and comment down with something that you did while you're pregnant that was really crazy that you felt like no I don't believe I could do this now for me where it really went so crazy was when I was about eight months my tummy was really long so for me to sleep at night was hell we had to change our phone on the bed about three times before I finally got something which I could sleep on but there is something I've heard ladies out there say some person the boy became go really suffer the one way go give me belly go suffer but there is something I want to tell you ladies, right? These things are controllable. Yes, when you're pregnant, your hormones are all over the place. But before I got pregnant, I had told myself that I would try my best not to disturb my husband. Because this is something that can push our men outside. Look at what she's doing. Like, how long can a man take that? 
I'm listening to it and it's already stressing me. Like, how long can a person endure that particular thing? It is our bodies. And we have the power to control our bodies. Pregnancy is difficult. I cannot lie. Pregnancy is a very difficult time in a woman's life. But we don't have to make the people around us go through hell. Women do this and there are women who do a lot worse. Please, ladies, let me call this to your attention. Like a lady who has also been pregnant. I was pregnant with twins. And it was a crazy pregnancy. It was malaria on and off. It was so many complications and everything that happened. But I had told myself that I wouldn't disturb my partner. And we need to start making those decisions from before we get pregnant, right? You don't have to start putting it in your mind that you disturb somebody's son. Some people say it's a joke, but the things that you say, you would do. It all starts from your mind and then you start saying it and then you eventually do it. So please, ladies, consider the men also. You are going through a tough time. But if you are sweet and you are nice to him, like, the funny thing is the way she was asking for the thing she was asking. She was asking really nice and sweet and soft. But she's stressing the man. Like, you heard what he finally said, give me, let me carry it. Because at times they take and they take and they take. For a man who loves you, you will take a lot. But please don't take it for granted. Like you might just lose your man during that period. Sincerely, some women are waiting for pregnancy to use it as a period to get back at their men. But it's not fair. Let's try as much as we can to cope with the struggles of pregnancy. And be fair to our husbands or our partners. Because you're pregnant, but... He doesn't like seeing that you're not okay. So we have to consider them as well and not be so dramatic like the lady on the comedy skit, okay? So that was all I brought for you today. It's just a friendly reminder to make us know that we are just pregnant, we are not sick. And we can go through it by setting our minds to behave normal, by setting our minds and making ourselves know that we are stronger than the pregnancy condition. It's just a phase and it's going to pass. Let's keep raising healthy, wealthy and exemplary moms. Thank you for joining today and do have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.